Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a journal with me and the theme of this spread is County Fair. I will also be answering some journaling prompts that my friend gave me later on in this video. So let's just get started. This by the way is a Chilio Apunto in A5, gray matte crockle. And inside I have a Leuchtturm 1917 notebook. It is grid. So I'm going to be doing a two page spread and the materials that I'm thinking of using is my antiquarian sticker book. I got this over the holidays and I'm trying to get more use out of it because some of the stickers are kind of out there, which I think would be perfect for a circus theme. I also have these sticker packs from Sticky Club. They're vintage pack. They recently had a carnival theme and then a couple of others that I think would fit. When I think of county fair, I think of not just the carnival, but a lot of food, a lot of music. So I think this sticker pack will come in handy, the Bon Appetit one. And then we have the picnic sticker pack here as well. And I also have these little random packing papers that I got from other people. And then I have some envelopes here. When you receive either junk mail or letters from the bank, if you turn the envelopes inside out, you get these really nice patterns and I like to use them in my journal. So those are the materials that we're gonna be starting with. If I feel like I want to add something else, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But let's go ahead and get started with this spread. So I think I wanna start with this striped paper here. As a concept, I think I want to add kind of an environment here at the bottom and maybe a little weather thing up top here just to kind of emulate what a day at a circus or a county fair would look like. And I'm gonna layer it with this pattern, I think. Maybe this one. So when I tear up paper like this, I like to clean it up a little bit with some scissors on these parts here, the ones that are too sharp. And this packing paper has these scallop edges. I think I'm gonna try to preserve that. I think, I'm gonna try. <laughs> and I'm just gonna use my glue stick. I like to use glue stick for these delicate materials. And it also helps me position them a little more precisely rather than my glue tape. I pulled out my bendy ruler here. <laughs> so see if I can make this more straight. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. And now I'm going to cut the excess off the edge. Okay, next I'm going to be tearing up this envelope. Just gonna try to preserve as much of this blue background as I can. And I'm gonna layer it over this side. You know what I just realized? This could be a really good representation of like the sky if we put it up here. Although I'm kind of committed to adding some here. I also realized that if I do this, I'm gonna cover up the scallops. So I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of the blue here and then save most of it for up here. And then I think I'm gonna relayer some more of this paper over this. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I messed up a little and this thing came apart in two. So I'm gonna try my best to align them and also align them to the bottom layer here. And while I'm trying to do this, I think I'm gonna go ahead and answer the first journal prompt. And that was, what were you inspired to create as a child? When I was younger, I think sometime in fourth grade, I actually wanted to become an author. So I would write a lot of stories and they weren't anything groundbreaking or publish worthy. It was just silly stories. Like I remember I made this brochure for this deserted island 
that was made of ice cream and orange soda and candy and it was supposedly not too far away from my hometown which was in a tropical country so I have no idea how an ice cream mountain would work in that kind of climate but you know when you're a kid you don't really think about those things I remember that was one of the very first stories that I made and in fifth grade I remember my teacher saw a lot of potential in me in writing stories and he really liked how creative I was when I wrote papers for class and so for a while I was really into writing all sorts of stories and I mostly gravitated towards fantasy and I remember I would start a lot of blank notebooks and start just free writing my own fantasy novels and I don't think I ever finished one. It was really just for the fun of it. And as I got older, my dreams of becoming an author became less and less important to me. When I was 13, I discovered coding and the internet. And from there, I decided I wanted to be a web developer, which ended up being my profession, which is really cool. But even as I was pivoting my professional life into coding and computer-based work, I still very much enjoyed creating my own stories and universes, but not so much in a written format. And even now, I still have all of these story ideas that I want to write one of these days, and I'm still just kind of sitting on them. I do have files on my computer for brainstorming those ideas, but for now, I'm kind of focusing on using YouTube as a creative outlet, but storytelling, story writing is still very much a part of who I am, and I don't think I would ever stop writing stories. But again, a lot of it is really just for me, my own personal enjoyment. But that was definitely the creative medium for me growing up as a child. So I think this is good. There's some overflow on the scalloped edge here, but I don't know if I'm going to want to cut that off. I like how it's peeking through my notebook actually. It's really cool. I don't know. We'll see. It might get ruined as I use this notebook though. Like it might get flat, but for now it looks really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this edge here. All right, so let's do the top. We're just gonna go with this blue strip here. Alright, so at this point, I'm going to start going over my stickers and see what would fit my theme best. So obviously, we're going to start with the Carnival sticker pack here. And I'm not sponsored by Sticky Club, by the way. I just really like their subscription packs. I've been subscribed to them for a year and a half now, I think. Oh, this is clearly going to stay. This is such a cute sheet. Oh, I really like this one. Very coppery, very red. And then we got the tickets. I actually have some vintage coupon packs somewhere. Let's see if I can pull those up. All right, here we go. I think we'll be able to use something from this pack as well. And this one's from AliExpress. So I'll try to find it and link it down below. And let's see if we can get some use out of these packs as well. This is the Bon Appetit pack from a long time ago, sometime last year. And as you can see, I've really used this pack. Although none of these really scream fair food to me. You know, fair food is more funnel cakes and corn dogs. This pie sticker I think is more like it, although I don't know about the gold foil. But we'll keep that around. Coffee, definitely. I think this is slowly coming together. I love this sheet too. So I found this sun sticker that I think would go really well with our spread. So we're just gonna leave this open. So now it's just a matter of deciding which one's going to go where. As with these things, you just have to do it. <laughs> just go for it. I think jam would be a good sticker to add into this spread. I'm going to wipe this out first. This spread needs a little bit more color, so I'm actually going to add some of these tickets in. I'm just going to mess around with it and see what looks best. <laughs> it kind of looks cool if you just kind of lay it out like that. It looks really nice. I want to add this clown sticker somewhere. <laughs> Up here maybe. And then this lady. I think this lady would look nice on this side. Maybe up here. Or maybe over here. So yes, I think this spread is slowly coming together. I think that looks really nice, right? That looks really cute. So I'm just going to go ahead and layer these. Hopefully I don't mess it up. This is so cute. 
cute. I think I might go with this lady instead because she's smaller so she can scale nicely with this spread. Or maybe this lady. Mm. Let's see. Mm, how cute! It's like a nice clear day at the fair. And then see if I can add some food stickers here. There's some copper foiling here. I think the gold foiling shouldn't be too bad. There's these little tiny fruit stickers here that I can add. I typically use my hands for stickers. I'm not afraid of a little impreciseness, but for this, I'm gonna use my scissors. And I think the clown needs a treat. Here you go. I think that's it as far as decoration goes. It's quite bottom heavy, but as I write into the spread, I think it's gonna look a lot better. I really did want the top to just kind of depict a clear sky. And then at the bottom is where all the activity is. All right, next comes the second part of journaling, which is pulling out my pens and writing supplies. So I have two here that I mainly use, actually three. So my colored gel pens are in here. And I keep my fountain pens in this case. I used to keep them here, but I switched them out recently. And then this case is my general art supplies case. This thing fits a lot and I love it so much. For the second prompt, I will be talking about what has inspired creativity in me. Gosh, this is a hard one to answer because I feel like I gain inspiration from everywhere. I don't like to limit myself into a specific set of hobbies or interests. I love all sorts of things. I love to read. I love to watch movies. I love to play video games. I love to crochet. I like to dabble in book binding sometimes. I love to sing. I love to play the flute. I have all these interests and I feel like they all inspire me in some way and that inspiration manifests itself in a different form. So for example, I love listening to music and that inspires me to write a story or maybe reading a book inspires me to dabble with singing and writing my own song and I definitely don't like to box myself in as far as where I draw my creativity and inspiration from. I also like to take analog inspiration and then apply it into my digital creative outlets like building a web page or building a web app. And that seems like a really vague answer, but that's what I honestly feel about it, that I really truly gain inspiration from everywhere. And it's not just in my hobbies, it's in nature, it's in the things around me, it's in the media that I consume. So I think that would be my answer for that question. Uh, everything. <laughs> so today is Saturday, February 13th. I've actually been kind of practicing copper plate calligraphy on this journal. So I added this reference in the front. So I just like to look at this and remind myself on how to write these letters. Some of them are still kind of a challenge for me. So I'm gonna write out the day and the date next to the sun here. And I really like having this reference. It's super helpful. I kind of messed that up, but uh, you know how you can do something so easily, but then as soon as someone watches you do it, you get nervous and you make all these mistakes that you normally wouldn't. That's what happened to me just now. <laughs> okay, February 13th. Don't get the date wrong. Okay. <laughs> Filming that whole thing, my hand was so shaky. Ugh. Okay, it's kind of frustrating. I'm not always this shaky when I write my dates. Like, here was a couple of days ago. I mean, this looks really nice and then this, Ugh, okay, whatever, just gonna move on, just gonna move on. So as far as the prompts go, I think what I'm going to do is I'm gonna use a red ink just to add more red to the spread because there's some reds here, but it's kind of lacking overall. So I might use this ink. Let me see. Just gonna go ahead and test it out on this insert here. Um, I have another dark red ink on this 
case. They're the same. Okay. <laughs> Let me see how I feel about the just like a plain red ink. Hmm. I think the plain red is the best. I think so. This, by the way, is the Pilot Precise V5RT. I don't know what this color is because my husband got this for me. And then these two are Uniball Signals. This is the Bordeaux Red, and then this is just the plain red. So I'm gonna go with the plain red one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the prompts and I'm just gonna go ahead and write it on the side here. I just realized this question is who has inspired creativity in you and not what has inspired. Oh my goodness. <laughs> who inspired creativity in me? Again, it's pretty much everyone that I talk to. Mm. As far as Instagram accounts go, I would say who's my biggest inspiration? I think Serica Studio is a big one. Um, Cammy's Cottage also gives me a lot of inspiration. Seaweed Kisses, of course. I love her Patreon, by the way. Um, heroin training she's not really active on social media anymore but i also really enjoy her patreon content sterling inc she's super nice and if you aren't following them yet please do so i will link their instagram accounts down below and then something i like to do when i write a journal entries i like to log what kind of pen i'm using because i like to rotate through my fountain pens i have four inked fountain pens at the moment so it's just a fun way to start off a journal entry and also takes away the paralysis in getting started and making sure the entry is perfect or whatever. Just write down what pen you're using. All right, so here is what my spread looks like so far. I'm just gonna go ahead and write the rest of this space with pure writing. Now, I do like to use my journal as a dear diary type of journal, so I'm not going to be filming that portion. I will attach a picture here of the final look. Hopefully, you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting at the very least, if not informative. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Baba Notes, and I will see you next time. Bye!